brought on the agenda. Um, and then we do that, please. Um, sure. The first item is the minutes from February 17th. Just, uh, oh, do you want to introduce Nancy first? Okay. So I just want to introduce the board to Nancy Ludwig. She's our new administrative assistant. And um, she's been teaching her all this stuff going on. And she's been doing great so far. So I just want everybody to know. And once again, Nancy Ludwig. This is Andy. Combs, Barbara Brown, Isabel, and Mary Racine. And welcome. And the camera there. And the camera. Mr. Golden. 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 Mr.
the stuff that we need to build it, we purchased it already, it's just on hold waiting and we have the Sheriff's program waiting to get come out to help with the building the structure. The only thing now that's holding us back is just moving that box. So mm -hmm. as soon I'm trying to get everybody to come out and give us a quote. So as soon as we get the quote then that's gonna go forward with the gazebo. Next item on the agenda is the resident service coordinator. We're going to actually um, sit down this week and put in an ad to hire one. I think it's going to be, I'm not positive, between 12, 10 to 12 hours a week. Like I said before, um, DHCD gave us a one-year grant. We did write DHCD back and they were able to, it's, it, it wasn't worth it for us to hire somebody full-time because it's almost like, almost not even wasting money, but somebody's not going to be helping people on a 40-hour basis. We're only here 18, 16 to 18 hours a week. So DHCD was nice enough to split the grant in two years, so whoever we hire will be here for two years. They give us $10,000 for programs, they're also going to split that in two years, so we'll have $5,000 for programs one year, $5,000 for programs um, within the next. But we're really trying to get somebody in within the next three to four weeks. Summer's coming, it'd be nice to have some outdoor programs, maybe outdoor concerts in the summer, anything that we can do to get the tenants now that the uh, restrictions are being lifted out of their apartments. So. We are working on that, and hopefully within um, hopefully within a couple of weeks, um, we'll go ahead and uh, have her working or whoever for him. And where Mr. Racine is sitting is what we set up for the resident service coordinator. So she will be in the community center, available certain hours for the residents. And she go help the residents. Or did she go to the houses? Or she, the um, if it's if it's a personal matter, we would rather let her go to their house because mm -hmm. you know obviously if there's people in here, it's not a comfortable situation. Yes. So uh, she's gonna have a phone out here, and she can also make an appointment through the office when she's not here. If somebody's in need of you know whatever that she needs to take care of, they can give her a call, and she can we'll set up appointments in home also. Yeah, and yeah. besides that, she go to organize any. Activities for the people yes. here. Yes, yeah, that's part of the program running. We're hoping that maybe an art program, an exercise program. We're going to see. Last time we worked with the council on aging for grants for exercise programs. So if there's any grants available to have, we had Sherry over here at one point. So it's going to be great because she's. We can just have her working on you know any grants available for elderly for those mm -hmm. programs and we'll just take that's it from here and see how far we can go with it. Hopefully, if it really is a success, the HCD will fund something like this mm -hmm. more than two years. But yes. we'll see how it goes of and, course. and take it from there. So we're hoping to have some people <coughs> in three four weeks. Yeah, we do yeah. have to advertise it for two weeks. So Yeah, and beside that, you need to explain to everybody what a mission, what she used to do or she can to do for them. So resident service coordinator, basically if somebody is having trouble filling out paperwork or if somebody is um, having trouble like, with their um, health insurance, um, if somebody's in need, a uh, need of a ride to you know, a specific place, she can help find a ride, any services that are available. She can be, she'll be working with the council on aging to see if there's specific needs for elderly residents in here that she can help get them certain programs to help them out. There's also some extra money in there if there is certain needs, but there's a lot of programs. Um, I'm actually, I, have, I actually have a meeting today at 11 o'clock with CertiBus. CertiBus is going to come in. They do come in now, but I think they're going to do some runs, like a Tuesday run and a Thursday run. They're thinking about doing stop and shop and um, market basket one day and then one day do the Walmart and Fair Haven. So if for people, I mean, it's nice to do market runs. A lot of times they went to true fees, but giving somebody an option like Fair Haven, Walmart Plaza, there's other stores in there, so it will get people out. I think they give a two hour span. So if somebody wants to come out for two hours, just get out of the house, you know, they can go to Walmart, there's restaurants in that parking lot. So it, it's, it's another thing to get people out of the house. So. Right now, I'm working with that, but then she's going to take that over, and if people do want that program or people need CERTA to bring them to the doctors, she can set up the appointments for the people so CERTA can come and pick people people up in the development. That's good. So that's okay. what we're working on now. <clears throat> um, so the office report for the monthly activity, uh, I've been training Nancy to do all um, the things that she can take over from Julie. We did remodel the office, so we've, we've definitely reorganized everything. Everything's flowing smoothly in there. So basically, we're just getting things up and running, running and ready to go back to things as usual. 
We're also going to start with the, um, the uh, calendars again, the newsletters. That's something that probably won't happen until June because we're just trying to get the basics down. And then once that happens, then we're going to, we're going to do new flyers and new calendars for the residents. So that's When you think that there will be a lift to the mask and the, the people coming? We can't lift it. We can't lift it. It has to be the state. We have to go by the state. The state rules. Yes. 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 Yeah. So okay. we can't lift it here ourselves. Okay. So we have to go by whatever the governor says. An updated construction report. So right now, our wires, as you can see, they're all done, they're ready to go. They're having a problem getting all the equipment to go over this, so I did ask them, because it's really hard, some tenants are getting frustrated because some buildings have been worked on, but theirs, you know, theirs aren't. But everything right now is to the same point of being, um, the wires being pulled through and where it should be at this point. The next step is to put all the equipment in so what we ask them to do is to wait until they have all the equipment for all the buildings. So instead of coming in and working on building one and two and three weeks later work on that, I like to have all the equipment and do it all within two weeks and just get it done and then they'll be gone. So as far as the electrical, uh, hopefully that's going to be done in about three more weeks. They've kind of given me uh, updates on getting all the equipment, but that's the only thing they're waiting for is the actual fire alarms and the, the outside boxes that they need to finish the job for the electric. As far, actually, my next item is the color kit for the vinyl siding, but I'm just going to put that for last because it will be easy just to finish the rest and then, because I think that's going to be our big topic of conversation today. So our apartment status right now is we only have one unit, uh, one unit open, Mike's working on getting that complete. This week we're going to send out the applications uh, to see who's going to come in, who will be rented to. So as far as the common status, we only have one as of right now. That system is still the same? Yes. Do you have departments? Yeah, yeah, we did go to put out uh, a company doing it, but I think now with Nancy here, between the two of us, we'll be able to um, do it ourselves and keep it in-house. So that would be nice. If we but you it still out. Boston gives you the. Yep. So what's going to happen is um, today tomorrow we're going to put in that that specific unit is for rent. We we'll hit the button. They'll give us 30 people. We send out the applications to the 30 people on the list. The last time uh, it was and it was elderly, so it you know it's a lot easier going with the elderly route. It's tougher to get the non-elderly because yes. you have to pick 50 people for that list. The last time we did have an emergency and it wasn't local, it wasn't from Boston or anything else. Mm -hmm. So I think this being, uh, out, it's going to be an elderly resident because we are, we are at our quota for um, non-elderly residents. So it will be easier to get somebody in here. Yeah. But even last time we sent out 30 apps only four came back. Yeah. And it was all the local people. Yeah, so, yeah, because the truth is there should be local people because we have just one authoritarian 60 people we see it, no, not, not 200 or 300 yeah. like we just have to go by the exactly. exactly. we can do nothing. But, you know? Know? I mean, and honestly, a lot of people from the Boston area, once they see that we don't have a bus route because they're used to having public transportation and we don't have a bus that comes by here every day, yeah. So, I think that is that deters some people. We also now, um, right on the front page, um, put return back in 10 days and in big yellow. We highlighted it. This is a non-smoking facility, and that actually has pushed a lot of people away too because they want to pay rent and live in a house that they can't smoke in. Which I can't say I can't blame them, you know. But this is a non-smoking facility, and we need to keep it that way. So. But they can't smoke outside. They can smoke with uh, 25 feet on the buildings. Correct. Of but, I mean, some people that are heavy smokers don't want to commit to that. And I, I let them know right from the back that we really keep on top of that because we do have a lot of people here that have oxygen and it's really important mm -hmm. that we smoke some building. So. I know it's a pain because I used to smoke, but we need to think about the other ones too. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So my last item on the agenda is to pick the vinyl siding colors, which um, I think it's going to be so hard because there's a lot of choices. So what I did for fun was I put out a vote to the tenants and of course the color they, they gave us all these charts and the one color that I, I like too and it was the highest, it was the best color, um, come to find out we can't get it in the, um, the cedar impressions in the front. <laughs> but which leads like there's so many different, there's so many different scenarios that we've talked about. We did quote the job, but 
the darker color, honestly, I think is going to be so rich in here. And I've been driving around, and Nancy and I have been on every website for housing authorities, and we're just trying to pick something that, that stands out and doesn't look like your normal housing authority. So with that being said, if you look at these buildings, and I mean, they were done in the 70s, and I'm not criticizing anything, but they're very busy. So we have the um, Cedar Impressions, and then we have the brick, and then we have the well, clapboard on the top. So uh, Mike and I kind of, and Nancy sat down, and if, if people do want the dark color, which I'm going to show it to everybody, um, what we could do is instead of going with the Cedar Impressions, we can go with the clapboard. And part of me is, you know, it's changed a little bit, but part of me thinks that it might make the buildings look more uniform because we have clapboard in the peaks and it will be more of one vision for your eyes instead of a bunch of different visions for your eyes. Because when you look at the building now, there's so many different squares and lines and you follow me? Yeah. <laughs> so, the Cedar Impressions are obviously a lot more money. Well, so, that's not so Mike, not, You're going to save money if you... But, so oh, Mike and I came great. to the conclusion, if we went with the Cedar Impressions, I'm not saying with, with the clapboard, we could get the more colonial look. It'll definitely make the buildings look more colonial because more, more of the buildings that are colonial have the clapboard. We figured, and this is just a rough amount, Mike did his math and called around to the companies, I uh, was at four hundred dollars a square for the cedar impressions, down to like hundred and ninety for the clapboard. So with that being said, we were hoping that we can do a change order because the shutters that are being put on the buildings are only going to be put where the wood is. So if we can ask them to um, take the difference in the money and put shutters in, in, instead and spend it all on shutters for the whole building, so that would be better for our bank account. We won't have to spend extra money on the shutters. And I just feel that looking at the building now is going to be more easy on your eyes than what it is now. What is the clapboard? <coughs> it looks like the white on the top. Okay. So it's just it's just a cross, and okay. that would be able to you know. But it's, it's not black and small. And it just goes yeah, it goes it's straight. More straight. It's, it's, yeah. more, it's more colonial than yeah. than the clapboard. Would be. But they have the dark color. They have the dark color in that. Um, so okay. Plus, like in the front of the sections, there yeah, there's no seams in the side of the And the shadows. What kind, what color will be the the shadows in the doors? They, well, I'm not sure about the doors yet. We're just gonna we're not even gonna talk about the doors until it, it's all in because that is a darker color. So the doors might look nice white, but I think the main color is gonna be if well, like I said, the bolt did come out with the darker gray. Um, it would be the darker mm -hmm. gray the white trim with the black shutters. So we I think, actually painted on this building. Yeah, no, I mean, it's building, yes. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the board yeah. looks behind you. We painted all the colors on the building. We and were all hanging around and trying to, trying to figure it out. It's the darker colors. Um, some people have mentioned to go back to white shutters, and I have a picture here, and I have to honestly say, um, I really feel that the white shutters are nice, but the black shutters are definitely more colonial. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of presidential terrace, you know, I, like, I like more of the white shadows with the dark and gray. Yeah, but you have, but you also have to um, take into consideration, which this this hasn't been said yet, but all the windows around the wood are going to have a thick white, a thick white frame. Uh, so okay. it's going to be too much white. Uh, so okay. I think okay. bringing the, the black is going to be the one thing that definitely. The gray, gray, that's okay. Yeah. No, I don't know that about the windows be a big sense. It's in the restoration one. Yeah. It's probably in your this desk. Is it. That's not restoration. Is it in restoration? I, it might be on your desk. Oh. Yes, can you still grab the restoration book? It's on my desk. So with that being said, we also thought that if we could change on the shutters, but we have to actually talk to the HCG, instead of going with the um, panel shutter, uh, the Louvre shutters, is to go with the plain solid shutter. Yeah. yeah. Which would, is also a phone number. Great panel. Great panel, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> solid panel. Yeah, all my construction. So this would actually be the look of the... Um, the Clap of the <laughs> And we did put out... Um, and I'll show you Bob because I know you saw the color. So yeah. this would be the color gray. This is, this would be all left up here. 
Oh, well, yeah. I, but I don't want to make the decision no, on my no. own. <laughs> no, it would be But if you go see no, no, the no, this is a spike so with the, I think this is beautiful with the brush. Yeah. So, and then with the uh, white, white trim. White trim. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the the yeah. truth um, is, uh, Lynn, if you go see and behind my building, because Michael put the notice wall to the paint, the paint yeah. is a little bit fading yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 Color it would be the same side. Where are we? Right yeah. here. But, okay. you know, <laughs> the, the, but the dark color they have, the panel there is beautiful. Oh, you want to see it now? Uh, I said you saw it, right? You want to see it as well? Uh, okay. Yes. I just got that and then she changed her yeah. mind. Okay, yeah, yeah, I it. like the dark, the dark with the white trim. I think it would be better because we bring no way. So basically, I guess what we just need to come together as well to make the goal would be um, if if we can't change it and save money and get the shutters, which I don't think it's going to be a problem because I don't think we're asking for a lot. I think it's less probably. You would know is it less um, labor to put up something like much much less labor. So I'm thinking that it shouldn't be a problem. It, it, generally, it should run less than half. Right? Yeah. So hopefully, and then we can maybe, maybe we can get this building done too, or one of the other buildings. So I just have to put in a change request. Because the uh, the you go that do it's all the buildings. Right now, the only thing that was voted was the buildings. This particular um, building and, and the garage. garage was different, but we may be able to throw the shutters and maybe this, this one building. building. Because there's only a little space of mm -hmm. that. Uh, this is just what exactly, we're Exactly, exactly, I understand. So worst case scenario is, if we can't, we can keep it the same. We'll have to pay for the shutters, and the flat walls will have to be this color, which is lighter, but it's still yeah, a nice color, still and it still will work with the black yeah. and the gray and the white. Yeah. You've got to go to your uh, bidding, bid winning contract the first and get everything replaced. So basically, I just have to um, call the construction supervisor from the um, Department of Housing and then work with the engineer to put in a change request. So if the change request is granted, uh, then we can go ahead. I don't think it's going to have to be rebid because we're not changing the specs of the job, we're just changing it, the. It shouldn't have to be rebid, but. I would think the winning bidder would have to tell you the difference between the job before you get it approved. Yep, yep, and I mean, like we were saying, right, even right now, the siding is, um, I think it's about three months, three months out to order it. Oh, the, it, it depends. Certain teams only making certain colors. See, the yeah, really depends. Yeah. Depends yeah. The, yeah. The senior impressions are tougher to get than uh, the yeah. siding, but that color who knows. Exactly. So. Worst case scenario in, is um, to keep it to the darkest gray for the cedar impressions, but I mean it's not as dark as the other color. So that that is what I just recommend to the board. Um, like I said, we did ask people who lived here and they did like a darker color. So I'm just asking the board, I guess, I don't know how people can put this motion, for a motion to go ahead and change it to the darker color with the clapboard. the clapboard and ask DHCD how much the savings are and see if we can take the savings, put it into shutters, and possibly do it in the community center. And if we're not going to be able to change it, I just say that we use the um, charcoal brick. Oh, no, the castle stone gray? I believe it's, Whatever. yeah, the, the, the next, I think it's castle stone gray with the black and the white shutters, um, if we're not able to change it. I think we're going to be able to change it, but if not, that's what I think the motion would be. Why would we be able to change it? No, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but just in case I don't have to come back to the board, the motion would be to go ahead and change it, and if we can't change it, to go ahead with a lighter color gray and just keep the project moving forward. The issue with the change orders is that there's a real big difference in models. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's, it's cheaper, so it shouldn't be an issue, but also looking at not giving back the money, but spending it on something else, you know, the shutter is another building. So mm -hmm. that being said, you know, they're going to have to approve it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's more of a materials change and yeah, we just slightly change too, because it's a lot less work. So, 
Yeah, we might have to have another construction meeting, but I think before we go ahead and do it all, it's worth it because, I mean, this is like a 30 to 40 year decision we're making. This is going to last for a long time. And uh, uh, when you think if the everything will be approved, when they go start? I wish I could say, but I can't because I don't know. With construction materials right now, mm -hmm. everything is so far out. Materials. And it depends on when the materials are going to come in. It was supposed to be done and complete by May 12th. That didn't happen. Yeah, so, so yeah. I, I got a question more for Michael on that side. He knows more about the vinyl than anybody. Um, the darker colors, don't they seem to fade more? They will fade out the yeah, entire time. And, and that's the only you know, will, will it not look just like a lighter color in a couple of years anyways? And I, the, I don't know how much they do fade. Is there a warranty on the fading? There is, but not. There's, there is a like a from a factory defect on the warranty, but any color you put on will fade. And if it's normal, fade. There's no warranty. So you did a motion to change. Yeah, I like was red. Well, I like the motion to see if we can go ahead and go forward with the change order. And if, if it's not That's possible, then we can just go ahead and just get the light yeah. color gray to move forward. Okay, could you make that motion? No. Yeah. If there's a monetary change, then I do have to come back to you anyway. I have to come back to you. <coughs> any change. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll make a motion to move forward with uh, uh, receiving approval for the change. Yeah. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that, is that it for you? Yes, that's great. Well, that's all I have today. That's it? Okay. Uh, Lady, I have a question. Uh, the motion to the rest of the report. Okay. Was there a question? Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, we go oh. have the, the mosquito spray. Yes, I'm gonna, we're going to call to have them start too. Yeah. You have the board already goes for that. Yeah, and because just I have, I don't know what kind of the, the animal, what kind of the bug is from the trees. It's the kind of black. Look like a tick. Yeah, I don't know. We, I mean, we spray the mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah so. and uh, they came from the trees. It's not on. The, on the, it's not on the grass. Yeah. Nothing like falling off from the trees. You know. I said, hey. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna give, we're gonna give them a call and get that started also. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. We have a second on Bobby Bolton, please. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Maintenance report. Yeah, no, I mean, the, with the construction and stuff we were talking about, there's been normal maintenance throughout here. We did about three weeks ago, we placed the last original hot water tank in the building over here. So now they're all new and they'll last five to seven years. Is years old? Huh? 40 years old? 40 years old. Now they're all new, so the last five to seven years, so we just keep replacing them. But otherwise, that between here and Dockville Street, it's just been normal maintenance going on. So, so, everybody has seen, everybody has seen the, uh, the improvements around here that, that uh, Lynn and, well, and then, uh, Michael did. It's a beautiful job. You guys did a beautiful job. So Thank you. you really did. Okay. It, it really looks good. Thank you. Well, it, it, this place, nobody can complain. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Because they, and, and one thing I can tell you. I don't know why Michael was uh, happy when Lynn left for her vacation. I was trying, I was trying to get her on a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> because now he's, he's really good at like, yeah, he's one thing. jumping on the ideas and going for it. So. <laughs> and when all the time, doesn't matter if she's Monday, Sunday, whatever, if we call him, look like, always know. with a smile, always like, it's okay. You know what I'm thinking. Though. No, I'm never thinking. This is one thing. Everybody I'm thinks. No, everybody <laughs> thinks. Yeah. That's you, can it. you can fail later. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Can I just put, you know, whatever I need to know in there and just clean it up? And Once we print out the list, it takes 10 days for them to come back. Once the 10th day is, you can go ahead and rent the apartment depending on checking in the status. But that's another thing to my bring at the Sheriff's Program. Uh, it's, been, it's been really, it's really grateful that we have them because a lot of this stuff here wouldn't have gotten done. The floors, I mean, it took a couple of days to put in the floors, the office floor. Um, uh, uh, with the electricians here, a lot of times, you know, have to stop everything. If somebody's not home, we have to be in the units with the electrician. So it's been really taking up a lot of his time during the day. So when the sheriff's program came up, came out, it really did help push everything forward. So I really feel like now with Nancy here and with the sheriff's program come out, we are really back on track to just start, stop fresh and go forward. Any questions? I have a motion to accept Michael's report. First motion. Second. Now uh, we have a, a, any questions from the tenant? No tenants. <laughs> okay, we have a date for the next meeting. Um, it is June 16th. I just wanted to um, ask to uh, Mr. Brown, is nine going to work for you? Okay. What is it? 9.30. June 16th at 9.30. 9.30? Good. Just need a wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wake up. Call me the 7th. Okay. Any other business? Nothing else. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank